So now we're going to look at raising a purchase order and receiving it in with a different unit of measure. So I'm going to go to purchases, I'm going to raise a purchase order and I'm going to select plus new. So we're going to choose our supplier. We'll choose the London Postmaster. Um, and there's my dates, etc. here. So I'm going to, to order some paper paper and I'm going to bring it into the yellow location. Here would be my bin code for when I do my put away and I'm going to order one. Now you can see that it's selected a pallet. When we look at the pallet you can see I have a quantity per unit of measure so it's going to add 32 eaches because there's 32 packs of paper on that pallet. So there's it's picked up the right price, etc. And from my point of view, all I need to do, I mean, I could send this for approvals if I have to go through the approvals process, depending on your workflow. Uh, so I could send it off for approval. But from my point of view, I'm just going to release this order. So now this is available for the warehouse to see. It's got a released status on here. OK, so the lorry arrives at the back door and drops off our pallet of paper. And now what I need to do is create the warehouse receipt. So if I create the warehouse uh, receipt and say OK to that, it's created one put away. So from that point of view, I can go related warehouse, uh, pick and put away lines. Here's my put away line. And if I open this document, this would obviously would be a printed piece of paper for the warehouse guys to see it or on a barcoding device if required. So here I would input my bin that I was going to put my paper away and it's still talking in terms of one pallet. Um, so when I process this, uh, fill in this quantity to autofill quantity to handle, so it's put in the one and when I post it, I just want to receive the goods into stock. So exactly the same as we saw when we did the inventory pick on the on the warehouse on the sales order side of things. So that's cleared that one up. If I now just go and look at my item. So if we go and look at. Item 80100, which is our printing paper. So now I can see that I've got 6,800, 6,600, and there's my purchase receipt that we've just received in. And you can see that it's put 32 into stock. Yes, because on my pallet, I've got 32 packs of paper. Um, if we go back to our purchase order, our purchase order, so here we go is our printing paper. We have received uh, one one pack in and here is the uh, still the, with the invoice remaining to be invoiced. So basically uh, to invoice this, if I've got the invoice in front of me, I've got the invoice number. Um, it will check the invoice number is unique for that vendor. Obviously my posting date will reflect the date I've got my invoice. So let's say the 15th of June, uh, therefore the due date based on our payment terms, etc. So as long as the price hasn't changed, then in principle, I'm OK to just hit the invoice. If, however, I wanted to have a look at the receipt to make sure that it had been received, I can see here it's saying quantity to receive one. But if I want to go and look at this document, I can go to related documents and receipts and I can click on here and it will show me that one pallet was received um, and the posting date of when that was received. And here is my per posted purchase receipt. Um, if I wanted to scan and attach the physical documents, then I could do and I could attach them to uh, to the entity. From a financial point of view, um, the quantity two invoices, one, I'm paying £96 plus the VAT. I've put the invoice number in. All I now need to do is post and I want to invoice and say OK. So it's warning me that the dates are different. Yes, I want to carry on. Thank you. And if I open the posted invoice, then basically here is my posted invoice. And as you can see, everything's greyed out so I can no longer make the changes. If there was a difference in cost, then depending on your processes, then I would either have to change the, the value here. So prior to posting it, I would change the value to say that it was 
£98 or £99, whatever the invoice said. However, if you have approvals, then by reopening that, then it would subject it to approvals again. So uh, some of these processes depend on your uh, business workflow.